well, this was kind of exploratory. I've had this idea for a while, but never really pursued it, but thought it'd be a really good thing to bring to a team of glass workers just to put their minds to the troubleshooting. All of these folds, if the vessel were cut in half, this top half of the wall would spell out the syllable man, and ideally there'd be three vessels that would spell out penmanship altogether. Just sort of thinking about grade school scripts. I think we can do it. <laughs> we have like a bubble and put an exterior fold there. Inflate this and do a big fold. But to touch the whole thing down. I do work with glass a lot, but I typically sort of take vessels and make installations out of them. On the tube section? Yeah, like inside there. We could get this hot, I mean, we could taper it and round that out. There, it's fine. As long as you have one sharp and then one soft. I think if you include like the strokes going in and the strokes going out. The first part of it, like yeah. right in here. Yeah, of the end. Do you want to push these together? Uh, yeah, as well, to touch. I do like what I would like is if they're all like the cap height is the same. Are you game for trying another one of those? I'm trained actually as a glass blower and a graphic designer. And actually when you're typesetting with lead type it's kind of interesting because they're both technical and detail oriented. The P just sort of looks closer to that than this. But it exaggerated? No. But that's no problem. I mean if we just have a tube, yeah. we just need a deeper heat and we puff it up that whole thing will pop up okay. a nice ball and a little longer. Okay. I think it will need to be higher than the, the finished hull. Okay. And then like a little push. I don't know, see what happens. <laughs> I think that's good. I mean, I think it's graphically based in these explorations where I'm thinking a lot about the silhouette of the vessel. Oh, sweet. 